sometimes things just kind of happen, especially around this channel. And it seems Disney has had another hack happen quite recently, and it was a hack that was done by furries by the name of Null Bulge. And they got away with over one terabyte of data. Well, you know, you, you learn new things every day. Uh, so the name Null Bulge is actually something to do with furries because apparently it's when they have a bulge down below that can that completely restricts any access it's like a chastity belt of for furries so of course a hacker group by the name of null bulge makes sense the restrictive access that they sit there and put in a trojan horse on disney servers is kind of why Disney's hacked Null Bulge claims to have stolen 1.1 terabytes of data from internal Slack channels. Apparently they were all upset, or they have been very upset, over Club Penguin being shut down. So now Disney has been the target of many different hacks over the last little while. A group of hacktivists claiming to breach the IT systems of Disney and stole a gigantic 1.1 terabytes worth of data from entertainment and giants internal Slack messaging channels. You know, they, they got to get the new Zootopia out there. They got to get the new uh, anamorphic art off the Disney servers. That's what they're really targeting, right? The hacking group, which calls itself Null Bulge, posted on an underground hacking forum that it had hoped to postpone announcing the breach until it had accessed the information, but our insider man got cold feet and kicked us out. If the hackers are to be believed, the data and the information exposed has taken a most 10,000 Slack channels, including details of internal projects, as well as messages, files, code, security numbers, login credentials, and personal photographies. Wow, they, they really wanted to dig deep into Disney just to get some of that blackmail material at this point, didn't they? Maybe they're going to release more details about the uh, up-and-coming Avengers Doomsday where Robert Downey Jr. is now playing Doctor Doom. He hung up the Iron Man mantle and, mantle and became Doctor Doom. That's quite the switch from hero to villain. No Bulge is a little-known group of hacktivists that claim to be motivated by protecting artists' rights and ensuring fair compensation for their works. Last month, reportedly uh, uploaded malicious stable diffusion extensions to the GitHub to allegedly protest how AI is stealing from real life artists. Now, I have spoken about AI. I've also spoken about furry uh, hackers in the past. And it just seems to be an interesting mix of everything that's coming up with AI, with how AI has been trained on everyone's arts. I know there's YouTuber videos that are now going through AI and their likeness and their voices. Everything is being stolen by these AI. Um, and they're being put through an algorithm. That algorithm spits out something that's very similar to what we talk about right now. Hell, the going joke on this channel is that I am actually AI and you guys aren't watching a real person anymore and if you think i was joking about the club penguin breach it no it was an actual thing club penguin fans breached disney's confluence server stole 2.5 gigabytes of data that was last month and now they're being actually uh, hit with uh, bigger hacks overall so the furries have a thing against Disney right now. They want to get their data. They want to find all that data. Club Penguin fans hacked a Disney Confluence server to steal information about their favorite game and wound up walking away with 2.5 gigabytes of internal corporate data. Bleeping Computer has learned. Club Penguin was a multiplayer game MMO from 2005 to 2018. Uh, it was a virtual world where ping uh, players, or penguins at this point, could engage in games activities and chat with other players the game was originally created by new horizons interactive which disney later purchased while club penguin was officially shut down in 2017 the success for club penguin island in 2018 the game continues to live on on private servers run by fans and independent developers you know it's really funny <laughs> it's that it happens to be club penguin growing up my aunt she was a fanatic when it came to penguins. She collected anything in, in the world that had to do with a penguin. For her 50th birthday, me and my grandmother actually placed on her lawn 50 penguins. It was a very interesting scenario in that sense. And 
Now there's people that are absolutely gaga over the penguin scenario. So why are hackers really going after Disney at this point? It's got to be more than just Club Penguin. Seriously, it's got to be more. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.